Good morning. This is Emperor Jackson bringing you another devotion. I am the senior pastor of First United Methodist Church, Tupelo. Let us begin with a word of prayer. God, fill us with your Holy Spirit. Touch us so that we might be reminded that you are with us always and everywhere. Open us up to be receptive to your word today. This we ask in thy name. Amen. I'd like to begin a reading from Psalm 118, verse 14, reading from the New International Version of the Bible. Again, Psalm 118, verse 14, from the New International Version of the Bible. The Lord is my strength and my defense. He has become my salvation. Let me read that once again. The Lord is my strength and my defense. He has become my salvation. As human beings, we all need extra strength. Many times we think that it is physical strength to have muscles, to be able to run the race that is set before us, to be able to climb high mountains, to play sports. But in this case, the psalmist is talking about the fact that we all need strength in this life because life brings difficulties. And as a result, the psalmist is saying that God is our defense and that God ultimately will become our salvation. We can depend on parents, siblings, children, other family members, other loved ones. But ultimately, we must depend on God. When the troubles of life overwhelm us, when we feel burdened and pressed down, the psalmist is reminding us that God is truly our strength and our salvation and our defense in times of trouble. But why wait until trouble comes? We can call upon the Lord at any time, even when things are going well. And the psalmist, however, wants us to be reminded that in life, we will need extra strength, we will need to be defended, we will need to be saved. And when this occurs in our lives, the psalmist is saying, God will be and is always there for us. And so whatever you're going through, whether good times or bad times, whether you're isolated or not, whether life seems to be unfair, remember these words. The Lord is my strength and my defense. He has become my salvation. Let us bow our heads. God, continually be our strength, our defense, and our salvation. Bless and watch over those who are listening to this devotion this day and remind them that you will strengthen them, defend them, and ultimately you will save us all. For this we're thankful. In the name of Christ we pray. Amen.